Hi everyone, Lindsay Heineman here. I just wanted to talk briefly today. This is going to be a little bit longer video, but I'll try to keep it short. Just wanted to talk briefly about your purpose and how fear, guilt, and shame can all interfere in you reaching your purpose and fulfilling your purpose. I'm going to speak from my own life briefly, um, but I want to start out with talking about the difference between guilt and shame. These are both from Dr. Brene Brown and I I believe her definition is absolutely 100% correct. She says that guilt means that you have done something bad. Shame says that you are bad. Do you understand the difference? One says that your action was bad, the other says that you yourself are bad. So with those definitions in mind, Guilt and shame and fear can all interfere in you fulfilling your passion. Um, my own story, I did not walk with God for quite a while. Um, it was a number of years. And when I came back and started trying to walk the path that God had laid out for me and to fulfill my purpose, I felt all three, shame, guilt, and fear, weighing on me very heavily um, that telling me that I was not worthy of the purpose that God had given me and that's total crap um, what I was the fear that I felt was that someone would look at me and say there's no way there's no way that she's done a complete 180 there's no way that what she says she believes and the way that she acts is the truth. I felt a, tr a tremendous amount of guilt for the things that I had done and I felt a lot of shame that I was unworthy. And you know what? We don't have a God of shame. We have a God of mercy and love and forgiveness and grace. And when it, what it comes down to is that of the hundreds, maybe even thousands of people that I have spoken to over the years, only one one has ever come back and said, I don't believe you because I know who you were. And that was so many years ago. I don't even know if, um, if I was in contact with that person, if she would still feel that same way. I do know that the fruits of my walk have outweighed, um, any of the horrible things that I did. I mean, my old life is very obviously gone because there's so much fruit of the Spirit in my new life. And, you know, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, the old man has gone away, the new has come. And I live that out every single day. And if you allow God to renew you, then you do too. So, you know, take that for what it is. That's my story. If you have one that's similar, please know that you are a new man in Christ too. And you don't need to let that fear and guilt and shame, um, it, it doesn't need to pull you down. It doesn't need to hold you. It doesn't need to entrap you because you are new in Christ. And he would not have called you to your purpose if it wasn't for you. All right, that's all I've got this week. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.